get the latest in Cardinal sports, Benny Rogers brings you the latest in scores and standings throughout the region. Cardinal Weekly starts now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Cardinal Weekly presented by the Cardinal Sports Network. I'm Benny Rogers, the Sports Information Officer at Trinity Valley Community College, and this is our weekly look at the world of sports at TVCC. It's a big week here at the college as it's homecoming week, and it's also the week in which we will induct our fifth class into the Cardinal Hall of Fame. Some events we've got scheduled around the Hall of Fame this week would be Friday night at 7 o'clock at Athens Country Club, there will be a homecoming slash Hall of Fame reception at 7 p.m from 7 to 10 p.m. That's for all alumni, uh, faculty members, or just supporters of the college who want to come out and kind of mingle with each other, relive past stories, and to meet the Hall of Fame members. This year we will be inducting five new members into the Hall of Fame along with the 1989 cheerleading squad which won the school's first national championship back in 1989. Our five inductees this year are Joe Bob Johnson from football, Keenan Forney from football, Scotty Conley from football, Niles Dockery from men's basketball and Alicia Boo Barnes from women's basketball. The luncheon to induct these members into the Hall of Fame is at 11 a.m. in the sub ballroom on Saturday at 11 a.m. That is open to the public and tickets will be $10 and they will be available at the door. I should mention to go back to the reception just a minute. There is free. There is no admission charge for that, of course. Then the football game is Saturday at 3 p.m. when the Cardinals take on the Blinn College Buccaneers at 3 p.m. At that game, we will recognize the Hall of Fame members and the 1989 cheerleading squad once again and that will conclude the Hall of Fame portion of the weekend. As you move on to football, the Cardinals will be attempting to break a five-game losing streak. They are currently 2-5 and five on the season and 0-4 and in conference play. They fell at home this past weekend to NEO 24-10. The Cardinals are not out of the playoff race mathematically, but they do have to win the last two to have a shot, and then that will depend solely on the tiebreaker at that point. The Cardinals, as we mentioned, play Blinn this week at three, and then they close up the regular season on the road next week playing Tyler Junior College in a game that will be played at Lindell High School kicking off at 3 p.m. There's a little bit better news on the volleyball front as Coach Tasha Spain's squad is now 15-8 and eight on the season. The Lady Carters went 2-0 and oh last week, winning their critical conference game on the road in Corsicana against Navarro on Wednesday. And then Friday they went to Cedar Valley where they scored a 3-0 victory. Like I said, to go 15-8 and eight on the season, they are 2-3 and three in conference play. The Lady Cardinals played a huge conference game at home Wednesday night against nationally ranked Tyler. I believe Tyler's ranked number seven in the nation. And then Friday, they are at home at 12 o'clock against Ranger and 4 o'clock against Cedar Valley. They're off all of next week until next Saturday the 20th when they play Panola in the final home game of the season and the final home conference game of the season. And that game is going to start at 2 p.m. at Cardinal Gym. There's also good news on the softball front as Coach Ashley Johnson's squad went 5-2 and two this past weekend. And matter of fact, they won their last five games, so they're currently riding a five-game winning streak going into a tournament this coming weekend at Our Lady of the Lakes tournament down in San Antonio. The Lady Cardinals will be home for three games and the only home games of the fall exhibition schedule, and it does conclude on Saturday, October the 27th. That's when they'll be at home for the three games. The Lady Cardinals are currently 8-6 on the fall season. That's going to wrap it up for Cardinal Weekly this week. We do want to encourage you to make it to some of the Hall of Fame and homecoming events this week as this is a big week at Trinity Valley. We do homecoming right here and we do Hall of Fame right. But until next time, this is Benny Rogers bidding you goodbye and I hope to see you at the games real soon.